Hello, this is a review of the Scotch H122 box sealing tape dispenser. So it comes in a box that you see pictured here. And out of the box, you get the dispenser that you see here, and add a roll of tape, and then now you've got your working tape dispenser. The tape goes on pretty easily and stays on. So basically, it has this plastic piece that runs around that you see there, and you squeeze the roll just a little bit to get it started going over that little ridge that you see there. And then once it slips on a little bit, then it just pops right on. It'll never, ever fall off. So that little ridge will keep it right on. Now it can accommodate rolls of different sizes by the fact that this piece flexes in and out. So you're probably never going to ever roll quite that big. This is your limiting factor, which has never, never, ever been a factor for me to actually come in uh, so tightly to take up that if you have a really, really wide roll. But you can see it can accommodate different sizes. Um, so you can put your hand in here and hold on as well, so that serves as, as that as well, so it's easy when you want to hold on to this side. Uh, this serves as a little bit of a break as well, so you can use and control how much you dispense by just holding on to this. But honestly, I've never actively thought about using it as a break. It just feels and works naturally for me. Um, it's just a wonderful device in that manner, I think. Then the tape goes on with the sticky side face up through these two barbs that stick out right here. Now this keeps the tape from ever flipping back and getting stuck back on the roll. So you never have that problem again where you get tape stuck on here and you gotta keep peeling it back because it'll always hold it right on out. The sticky side up. Now the sticky side up helps keep the cutter clean as well and for other purposes as well. You know like scotch tape is always uh, on the cheap little plastic dispensers they give you are always face down and you can cut for, until you're done with there. But this one actually goes on face up. And so it keeps this a bit cleaner, although not forever clean, but it's easy to clean. And you can pull out your piece of tape. I'm doing this one-handed. Um, I'll show you later an actual demonstration. And then you can easily cut it along that and uh, it works great. So easily holds the tape on. It can accommodate tapes of about different sizes. Has a break that you never really think about using, but it just naturally works really well. Keeps the tape with these barbs from ever f flipping back and getting stuck to the roll. Easy to cut. I absolutely love this thing. This very dispenser that we're looking at, I've had for 17 to 18 years, and it's the exact same model and the exact same dispenser that we're looking at here. So this one is 17 to 18 years old and still kicking as if it's brand new. The only t thing that needs a tiny bit of hand cleaning is the cutter that I'll talk about in a minute. But that's the same model that we're looking at here out of the box. The exact same H122 that's here is the one that is 17 to 18 years old. From the first time I, I got this, I thought it was so much easier to deal with putting things on boxes, putting tape on boxes, that I just kept it and I've used it ever since. And I just did a big move. I moved from one house to another and we did a lot of boxing of things. And I have to say, none of us considered sealing any box without running around to share this dispenser. That's why having a second dispenser was the obvious choice for me to just get my second one. 17 to 18 years later so that we don't have to run around and share a single dispenser. So we did our move packing every single box with this and it was just easy as can be other than having to actually go find out who has the dispenser right now. Let's see it in motion. So this is just a completely random box that I happen to have laying around just to show you how it works. So take it, flip it over, pull a piece out. You can pull it out further if you want or not. Stick it on one end, stick it down there and cut it and you're good to go. So you see how easy it is to do? I just use one hand here to get a brief little start, stick it over the edge of what I'm trying to tape, and then you can pull a, pull a Go down and you can cut like that. So that's all you have to do to cut. And remember, you can kind of squeeze your hand here to use it as a break. Um, I honestly don't do that a whole lot. So what some people do is you stick the first side on and then you can keep pulling. But it's so easy to use. It makes it just a pleasure to be able to tape things. And it's just as where it was before. It'll never flip back. Um, I think this thing is just wonderful. I love it so much. So I can't sing its praises too much. Um, I think it's great. The only part I ever had to service was the cutting blade in front here. Now this is the brand spanking new one and it's as clean as can be and will honestly be fine for years from my home use that I had been using it with. Um, but the existing one that I had here, now maybe two or three times in its life cycle at my home, doing a sealing of different boxes, uh, it gets a little bit gunked up after a while, but it doesn't actually stop cutting. Um, because remember, the sticky side is up, so it doesn't really get 
all that bit all that sticky. I mean, it's pretty easy to cut as you see here. I have a really thick tape on this. It's really good heavy duty tape on my example roll right now. It, uh, it's even easier when you use just simple sealing tape. But it inevitably you get a little bit of gunk on here, and all you do is you take your fingers and kind of pick pick at it, just kind of squeeze together, pinch your fingers, pull up. And I'm pulling little bits of pieces off right now, um, but it's you know every once in a rare while do that if it gets way too gunked up. That is the only servicing I ever do. Nothing has ever gone wrong with this one. Thanks for watching the review.